I. I am going to talk about Oracle application implementation methodology as Oracle AIM. Our agenda will be introduction about what is AIM, list of AIM documents and the definition of each of them, templates examples. I will show you actual examples of these templates or document to got understand what is the meaning of each document also I will give you the option to download these templates to be with you for using in the future let's start by definition of AIM Oracle uses AIM application implementation methodology to manage all of its Oracle application implementation project AIM can be used also for many different software implementations not just for Oracle applications. Other software like SAP, Microsoft, Udo, web development, all of these software implementations. However, the methodology is purpose built for Oracle applications. The detailed deliverables produced are designed with the Oracle application products in mind. Oracle AIM methodology encompasses a project management methodology with documentation templates that support the life cycle of an implementation. The life cycle methodology and the documentation templates allow AIM to be a very useful tool for managing implementation projects successfully. This is a depreciation of the AIM methodology life cycle application implementation method is a proven approach for all activities required to implement Oracle applications. Also, there are another methodology like OUM, Oracle Unified Method. This is the second or the other methodology, and this is depends on the waterfall model to spiral model. Waterfall means iterative and incremental development. But in this video, I will focus on AIM. AIM methodology conducts in the six phases definition, operational analysis, solution design, build, transition, and production. Start by definition. Definition you Plan the project, review the organization's business objectives, and evaluate the visibility of meeting those objectives under time, resource, and the budget constraints. The emphasis is on building an achievable work plan and introducing it with guidelines on how the organization will work to achieve common objectives. Establish scope early in the implementations gives the team a common reference point and an effective way to communicate strategies, objectives, and approaches are determined for each aim process, providing the basis for the project plan. Operations analysis. During operation analysis, the project team develops business requirement scenarios based on deliverables from definitions that are used to assess the level of fit between business requirement and the standard application functionality. If you facing gaps, gaps are identified and corresponding solution developed. Analysis result in a proposal of conducting business operations under the envisioned application technical RT architecture. Solution for gaps evolve into detailed design during solution design. In the solution design as step 3 or the phase 3 is to develop the detailed design for the optimal solution to meet future business requirement. During this phase, project team members create detailed narratives of process solution developed during operations analysis. Supporting business requirements may require building application extensions to standard features. Several alternative solutions may have been defined during operations analysis. So, the project team carefully sc 
creates these solutions and choose the most cost effective alternatives. Number four is a build. The coding and testing of all customizations and other custom software, including enhancement, data conversions, interfaces, etc., is done during build. Policy and the procedure changes relating to business process modifications are developed. Business system testing is performed to validate that the developed solution meet business requirements. Also, if customization and extensions or conversions are not required, build is still important because it includes the business system test. Number five is transition. During transition, the project team deploys the finished solution into the organization. All the elements of the implementation must come together to transition successfully to actual production. The project team trains the end users while the technical team configures the production environment and converts data. Transition ends with the cutover to production when end users start performing their job that is using the new system. Last step as a production. Production begins immediately with the production cutover. It marks the last phase of the implementation and the beginning of the system support life cycle. Included in this final phase is a series of refinements and performance measurement steps. The information system personnel work quickly to stabilize the system and begin regular maintenance. They will provide the ongoing support to the organization for the remaining life of the system. During production, you compare actual results to project objectives. System refinement begins in a controlled manner to ma minimize impact to end user. Finally, you start primarily planning of the future business and the technical direction of the company. This is a brief of the six phases of AIM methodology. At the next, what is the list of AIM documents or templates? There are a lot of templates. If we started by PP as a business process architecture. This phase outlines what existing business practices, catalog change practices, leading practices, and future practices. Next one is PR as a business requirement. Business requirement mapping. In this phase, the requirement of the business are matched with the standard functionality of the Oracle applications. If there are any gaps, also you can include it in this template. I will list later the template by the number for each of these documents. Next one is a module design. In this module design as a build and module design, this phase emphasizes the development of new functionality. New functionality means, means customization required by what? By the client. It mainly details how to design the required forms, database, reports, new form, new integration, all of this new design. Next one, requirement definition. In this business requirement definition, this phase explains about the initial baseline questionnaire and the gathering of the requirement. Next one is functional design document. In this functional design document, in this phase explains the functional design document as a functional design of the functional solution of your implementation project. Test script as a T. A process of validating the setups and the functionality by QA as a quality functional consultant to certify the status. This is TE business system testing to test the setup and the functionality and the, all the business process to confirm that the, everything is 
working fine and matching the requirement of the organization. Next one is a CV as a conversion document. Data conversion is a process of converting or transferring data from legacy system to Oracle applications. For example, transferring customer records, supplier records from the legacy to the customer master or supplier master. The next one is do as a documentation. Documentation prepared per module that includes user guides and implementation manuals. So what is the difference between do and t? All is test scripts and the documentation also user guide. In this do as a documentation user guide, you have to include a screenshot. Test script sometimes without screenshot. And this is also a question of interview. What is the difference between test script and do as a documentation in a methodology? So this is the list of aim or template or document. If we check one by one for a business process architecture. And RD, business requirement mapping, MD, this is the name by PP, RD, TA, MD, CV, DO, TE, PT, performance testing to check the performance of the testing and adoption and learning and production migration this is to migrate from legacy or the testing or before go live production to production environment for pp there are a lot of pp and by the way all of these documents or process or templates or documents is an optional means you can use it you cannot use it for example in pp you can use pp 40 or pp 60 or pp 70 it's not must to use all of these pp for example i am using pp 80 developed future process model Sometimes other one, he can use the fine business and the process strategy and so on. The template of this AIM methodology, you can get it from two options. First option, if you're working with implementation company, they already have the documents, either AIM or OUM. They give it to you and you can uh, remove all of the data from this sheet or Excel or Word and fill it with the new implementation for your organization. The other way you can download it from Google, from scribed.com. There are a lot of AIM documents as an example. You can check it on Google to check what is meaning of each of them. For example, if I show you actual example for PB as a business process before the business process you can start by the questionnaire questionnaire questions for example I'm going to talk about or implement the VAT so I have to prepare the questionnaire questions of VAT and so on if I'm going to implement procurement so I can implement or prepare the questionnaire questions of procurement the questionnaires also, you can get the ready file from your company or you can prepare it by yourself. For example, I'm going to implement the VAT. So I will show the questionnaire. questionnaire. For example, here, VAT system questionnaire. This is VAT system. What is the question? What is the start date of the VAT application? What is the legal entity and who you will be assigned to it? Is available to the user to override the tax calculated? What is the tax precision exchange rate? All of this you can prepare it because you are aware about the modules. So, so you can custom the questionnaire questions one by one. And when you sit with the customer or the organization, you open this questionnaire and start to ask him. 
So once you collect the answers from the customers, you can put it here in front of your questionnaire questions. And this is example for the VAT system. You can apply the same for payable, receivables, procurement, HR, and etc. And here, how many registration? Because here we're talking about the VAT. Is there a tax exemption of customers? What is the def default rate? In which cases the tax should not be applicable? For local not registered, the rest of the world, etc. And here for the account payables, because that will cover all the applications, so you have to prepare for account payable, for account receivables here, for supply chain cases, is there a tax exemption for tax, for sorry, item or products? So you can start the product or the project by this questionnaire. This questionnaire will give you an overview of the organization business process, what is going, what is applicable, what is not applicable, if there are any special cases. So you can prepare it to cover all of the aspects of the module or of the project. Then started to prepare by PP as a business process. We said that this is a future process model or the current business process of, you, of the organization. So what is the current business of this organization or what is the future business process model? Also, I, if I show you one example for PP80, because here there are a lot of PP. I will show you example for PP80 as a develop future process. This. This example for AR, by the way, I prank this or downloaded this from scribed.com. Later, I will show you how to download from scribed. You started by the name of the process, sorry, the document template. This is covered by which module, account receivable, payables, what is the user, date, name, destination, Document control, is there a change record, reviews, but what? This is the customer, right? He will review the users of the customers or the organization, will review it. And distribution. Let's start by content. This is AR, invoice creation, customer creation, creation debit credit, receipt creation, period close. Is there any open and close issues for this deliverable or not? If you go down here, Global has a point when it is limited to implement Oracle eBusiness. This as an introduction. And here you start the account receivable process. You have to mention what is the account receivables, what is the liability, what is the debit memo, credit memo. During the setup, you define what as an overview of the account receivable or the module. Then it starts by all of this. Here you will start by to write the process, process of what of the current organization. If you are going to implement for an organization X, so once you set with the users and ask a questionnaire <clears throat> and collect the business, you are going to write the PP. In this Hitachi, they, when they enter a regular invoice, the debit will be, the credit will be. If you enter with a pill in arrear, the debit will be credit and also in period of a rule, the portion recognized, and so on. What about the first period? What about Oracle receivable support to type of commitment, deposit, guarantee? What deposit cycle, guarantee cycle? This is a business process. You have to define the business process. What is the accounting entry? The definition of the process like this template. Let's continue. So this is a PP. Next one is business requirement definition. You are going to gather business requirement, RD50, or conduct current business baseline, RD20, or establish process and the mapping summary, all of this. And also, by the way, it's not required to use all of this. You can use only this, only this, and so on. In RD, as a business requirement definition, let me show you one example. For example, RD45 or RD50. 
RD45 as a requirement. Requirement gathering for county people. Again, what is the other date? This is version one, two, three. Approval list. Reviewers change record. The same. Here, supplier process. How many suppliers do you have in present system? Do you have any one time supplier in your present? How many payments you can prepare it? Even in PDF, Excel, Word, all of this. How do you maintaining supplier address? How you maintain supplier bank account? Maintaining goods received? All of requirement gathering you should like questionnaire also. You can ask the user or the stakeholders to give you answers or response of all of these process questions. This is example for requirement gathering. Next slide is business requirement mapping are you going to make a mapping between for example requirement and the functionality standard functionality is there any gaps to analyze high level gaps and besides these gaps you also mentioned the solution of these gaps are you going to make a test business solutions so i will show you as a pr example here PR 100 S start the setup for the PR for example here PR 100 for GL general ledger again what is the change record the reviewers uh, here by. you start by the setup if you are going to set up ledger I will start by chart of account calendar currency Subledger accounting method and suspense account, intercompany account, transaction code, statistical, automatic, all of this, and then enable budgetary or not. What is the encumbrance here? Budget organized step by step. You have to mention here, for example, set up general ledger, define, G, uh, define suspense account, intercompany, blah 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 blah. What about the intercompany refund? You can select or once you set or collect the setup, you are going to mention the setup steps one by one in this slide. This is means BR100. Also, I can give you VAT BR100. As I told you before, I can make it in Excel, Word, PDF, but by the end, you will find the, that the document contains for example, here BR as a setup document or business requirement or gaps, like etc. Here for the setup, I will start the setup uh, for the VAT. This is regime, this tax, status, tax rates, re recoverability, not recoverable. What is the title here? The author, tax VAT, index, what you are going to set. I will start by registration, authority, regime, status. If you click on tax rate, it will give you what is the rate. So whatever you are going to set up in the Oracle or the implementation or the application, you have to mention it here because it will be reviewed by the organization and the stakeholders, key users, super user to confirm that everything is working fine. Tax authority, regime, tax state, all of the tax. And as I told you before, if you're working with implementation, they will give you it. And also I will tell you one thing here, what I did before, I take it from my previous consultant or blah, 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 and I changed some things for the organization name instead of, for example, Hitachi to another company. Here, instead of 508, I will remove 5 and the boot exam bit, just the modifications, small modifications not started from scratch let's continue the other one so this is a BR then MD this is a module design create for example most of them is MD50 and MD70 MD50 create application extension functional design this is prepared by the functional team once you prepare this, you give it to technical team to prepare the MD70 as a create application extensions technical design. 
also module design I will show you example if I have MD70 for supplier master is it open or not it will take some time let me check any other MD okay until it open I will continue but as a brief of MED if you are going to implement a solution or a design for a custom solution or extensions or personalization all of these like extensions or customization so in this document you as you as a functional you have to prepare it to give it to the technical to collect what is going on for example if i am going to make a personalization to restrict a specific purchase order to a specific operating unit so in this document i will show the technical so in this form of the po i am going to restrict bo standard bo uh, for condition when the user or when the operating unit is x so the technical will take this document and go to the this the same form and they prepare the personalization either code as is equal query and they put if the operating unit for example equal x then don't or and the user select for example standard bo give him error as an error message so you prepared md50 and the technical will create the md70 and so on if you have any custom form for example for investment again you are going to prepare md50 to include whatever the business requirement in this custom solution or in this new form so the technical will take it and prepare md70 the other one is do as i told you this do as a user guide prepare documentation or publish user guide for now I finished everything I finished setup I finished business requirement I finished the gaps I finished I finished the uh, model the design model for any customization extension personalization etc everything is done now I'm going to make it the documentation as a user guide to the users so I will use do 70 and usually I use this document do 70 here as example you have to for example payables that tax manager again author very weird why uh, how its manual is organized and the introduction this is document content of this document so let's start by create the supplier tax profile this is how this is the steps how to create supplier tax profile detail going here add what uh, check the reason then go to the next uh, step blah 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 again registration supplier with local how to create of manual invoice with the local go to create select and uh, press calculate that choose the rate as i told you before this do means user guide by screenshot and as you see here every step by screenshot next one is i think te te as a business system testing is also perform unit test or perform link test sometimes with screenshot some others without the screenshot i will show you as te40 this is te40 also in excel in word in pdf this is up to your organization or up to the customer again what is the maintain suppliers process create supplier sub process what is the navigation test scenarios expected result after i do all of this what is the expected result from this process go down the other the second process disabling allowing purchasing what is the sub process navigation this 
What is about reverse charge mechanism? For example, in that, register invoice, enter, check, test scenario, and so on. What if I cancel tax? I need to cancel tax. So in this test, you will cover all of the business scenarios in the test scripts or do documentations because it will be like a guide for the users after you leave the organization or even if you still on the organization some hiring happened for a new person or new employee so they will share this document with him or if you left as a implementer and they bring a new implementer they will give him these documents to give him overview what the previous organization or previous implementers did it in and implemented in the system so this is the last slide before ending the video now I will show you how to download like this template just go to Google by Google for example I need to download Oracle do 070 document just write like this scribed enter go to open all of this here you will see do user guide subject blah 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 and here you cannot download it so Whatever you find the document you need, either in methodology or any other documents on Scribd, just take it, copy the link of the document, go to again to Google, write Scribd Downloader. Open first one, paste the link get the download now it will verifying in seconds download PDF it will give you 8 or 10 seconds once it's finished you can download PDF it's downloaded here just open it and check the document Thanks again. Slide. Thank you for watching. If you like my content, I hope to subscribe. And also what I will do, I will give you these templates as an example in the description of this video. Thanks again.